Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for my dearest Cancers. Cancer, we're going to take a look at the person who broke your heart and we're going to see what they may be thinking or feeling, how they might be viewing you or the situation and any action they may take towards you. Um, we're also going to take a look at what they've been going through um, since you guys have been apart um, and anything they'd like to say to you and we'll get as much advice and information from spirit as we can. Um, if you guys resonate with these messages, I am going to ask that you guys hit that like button for me. And I just want to thank you guys so much for all your love and support. Um, my fellow Cancer tribe out there, I love you guys so much. So let's go ahead and see what messages come through for you regarding the person who broke your heart. Clear messages and guidance, please, for my, for my Cancers. So we've got the Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay, so this is what they're thinking or feeling. So they've definitely realized that they have to do something differently. This person may have been holding on to you for quite some time, Cancer. Um, I feel there's a little bit of a breakthrough there. How they're viewing you, the Four of Swords in reverse. So they might feel like you've healed from this and you've sort of moved on or you've moved forward. Ooh, and the action that they may take towards you, the Queen of Cups, this person might be a little bit restless to talk to you because they've had this breakthrough. For some of you, if they were or have been with somebody else since your separation, they might be coming out of that karmic situation. There's a big breakthrough here. They're doing things differently, and I do feel that they're a little bit anxious um, to reach out. Um, to talk to you, um, maybe to see what you're doing. For some of my cancers, you guys may have been in hermit mode. You may have been healing. You could, you may have gone full dark, no stars on this person, right? Like, you know, cut them off on social media, block them, you know, like they're wondering what you're doing. And with the Queen of Cups, I mean, that's somebody who wants to make you some sort of offer. And we get the Knight of Cups. So this person wants to make you some sort of offer, cancer. Um, let's see. All right, let's see. Your person with the Eight of Swords as well, like if they were traveling or if they had a job abroad or something like that, that could have come to an end. They're, they're releasing themselves from some sort of karmic situation or something that was holding them back from being with you. It can also just be overthinking, like they've had a breakthrough. They're seeing things differently, trusting their intuition. I also feel this person has been getting a lot of signs and synchronicities about you, um, whether it's like seeing your birthday like all over the place or hearing your name or the, you know your song or something like that. So we see the Queen of Swords, wow. And we see the Ten of Pentacles, my goodness. Cancer, for some of you guys, your person may have put this connection on hold because of family obligations, um, but also for money. Queen of Swords tells me your person has gotten some sort of clarity and I feel they're ready for a commitment or they're ready for something more serious. They've learned some lessons. They're switching things up. Queen of Swords tells me they want to, they, it's like they want to like cut through the confusion, speak their truth. They want the Ten of Pentacles and they've got their eye on you for that. So let's see. Four of Swords in reverse. They're seeing you as the Four of Swords in reverse. Maybe that you've done your healing. You've moved on. So this this card is, to me, it's always so funny because this person, they're looking at that fish with like such googly eyes. This person wants to make an apology or make some sort of love offer. Just be careful. I mean, I don't feel with the Eight of Swords and the Queen of Swords that they're looking at this um, connection through rose-colored glasses, but we do have this like rosy color here. I do think that they've put you a little bit on a pedestal there. Um, they find they find you intriguing. They probably don't know what you've been up to. They may not know how you're feeling, but they do have these sweet feelings for you. Um, and we get the Three of Swords. Cancer, this person wants to heal things with you. <sighs> wow. It's like, it, you know, Page of Cups says, I want to offer Cancer an apology. The Three of Swords in reverse. I have regret, remorse. I want to heal things. I have, you know, I want to talk to you. So, wow, future action, Queen of Cups. This person may be coming in full in reverse, but they acted foolishly. They know that. And Three of Wands. Wow. So your person is still a little bit unsure about how to do that. 
and they know that there's some distance between you. But I do feel that this person is coming in to send you a message or make you some sort of offer. Now the full card in reverse, they're not so sure that you're going to accept them. Look at that four of swords. So we're getting a lot of this energy of healing coming through. This person knows that they broke your heart, Cancer. What I'm seeing here is a positive energy because of the eight of swords. They've They've freed themselves up. They've had some sort of breakthrough. They know that they want to heal things, offer an apology, and start something again with you. But the Fool card in reverse tells me that you may reject this person, Cancer, and or they're worried about that, if they're going to come off as foolish. Um, for some of you, they put like family b before you, or their family may not have approved of you or this connection in some way, or maybe it was your family. The Three of Wands tells me that some of them, they might know that you've been waiting for them, but I kind of feel like this person is just, they're looking out, they're longing. They may have everything that they need, but they don't have you, but they feel really foolish because they may also be seeing you as the queen of cups, right? Somebody who has a lot to offer. Um, and they, and, and I feel they, they, they acted foolishly or they feel like a fool in your eyes. The Four of Swords tells me that this person is probably dreaming about you. Look at that. We get the Knight of Cups again. Um, but they know that there's going to be conflict here, okay? They know that there's conflict. Um, they've got to be strong to come in and make this offer for you. Um, but they, and, that, and they know that you probably aren't going to accept them back with open arms, Cancer. So, I, But I do feel that this person does want to fight for this, okay? That they are looking at the past and where they may have messed up. And uh, they're still, they're hesitant though. They're hesitant because it's like they want to make this offer, but then there's a part of them that doesn't reach out, like that loses confidence there, okay? So let's see what your person has been going through, Cancer. It's like part of them is like longing, wanting to do things. I feel like they write you messages, don't send them. They tell themselves, all right, I'm going to send Cancer a message this month. They don't do it, or this week, or today. Um, I do think they're also giving. They know that they broke your heart, though. They do know that, and so they are giving you time and space to heal. A new outlook. Yeah, your person's seeing you differently. Um, they're seeing the situation differently. I also feel your person may have achieved like a level of financial abundance or stability. Like, I don't know if they were trying to buy a home or they were getting a business off the ground or paying off debts, but now it's like they can breathe and now they're like looking deeply at you and at this connection. All right. So let's see. Forgiveness. Yeah. <laughs> Cancer to offer your forgiveness to another liberates your own heart from pain. They want your forgiveness. They want your forgiveness. They want to liberate their heart from pain. They're seeing things differently. This person may have taken a lot of time to sort of, you know, and for it's that's going to be relative to all of you, but they've taken a lot of time here, Cancer, to, to figure things out. And it's like they've got it. They've had this breakthrough. Soul awakening. So they've definitely gone through a bit of an awakening, um, triggered probably by this breakup or by you. Um, yeah. They may have even gone through a bit of a dark night of the soul. It's just they've, they've reached a level, Cancer. This person has leveled up. Um, they're seeing things differently. Maybe they're seeing how they were a, a bit too embedded in the 3D or being, you know, operating from the ego. They're open to receive. So this person has been getting a lot of clarity, and we see that with the Queen of Swords. Um, they're letting they're re they're letting thoughts flow through them and releasing them. So they're actually working through a lot of their shadow and any negative thoughts that they had about you or this connection. I feel like this person wasn't open to receive your love in the past, um, but they're they are now. But again, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're at that same place, right? Because I do feel. You guys gave and gave to this person most likely, and they I feel with that ten of Pentacles they just didn't they didn't give back or they were focused on something else. 
Um, you play a vital role in the situation or relationship dynamic. Your involvement has a greater purpose than you may realize. Yeah, your person is, is starting to be in the present. I feel like they had a lot of anxiety about what they were building or what they were trying to achieve. And that really didn't allow them to be open to this connection or your love. But now that it's like something has afforded them the opportunity to be more present. And for a lot of you, I feel this person has achieved some sort of stability or abundance. Um, and we get divine work at plan. So if something is not unfolding according to your expectations, the divine may be orchestrating a plan that will have a more meaningful long-term result. So yeah, I feel that the divine is bringing them back to you, Cancer. All right. Spiritual places, this is a message for you guys. So um, maybe you need to go on a retreat or travel or be with like-minded souls to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. Because I do feel there was a lot of upheaval here. Um, so just keep focusing on you. Um, it, you don't have to reach out. Don't put your life on hold for this person. But, you know, the divine has a plan and it involves forgiveness. So whether that's giving you healing and closure or a fresh start with this person, let's see. So let's see what we need to know about Cancer's person. They've been doing a lot of healing work. I also feel, I just keep getting, like your person was building something. I don't know if they actually work in construction or they were like, you know, they were building a business. It's like they've gotten to where they needed to get. And now it's like they can rest and they can be present. And like they've achieved what they needed to and now they, they want love. And it feels like they want you, Cancer. But not all of you are going to be completely open to that, okay? So let's see. What do, what do we need to know about Cancer's person? Lost spouse, yeah. A lot of you guys, um, now maybe some of you were married to this person. Um, but I, I also feel that in... Regardless of how it may have looked or how it may look, this person still feels this really strong commitment to you. Um, and if they've been with other people since you, it's like they compare others to you. Like you're the one that they always felt like was their person. Um, we get next year, so it may take until next year. We get vanity. Yeah, this person, your person was embedded in the 3D matrix, in the social matrix. So they put material things ahead of you or, you know, they weren't, they, that's all they were seeing, and they were really operating from the ego. We get supportive, religious, I'm gonna get one more, and in love with you, yeah. So for a lot of you guys, this person is still very much in love with you, and I think they're working through that, that ego, that ego energy. It may, it may still take some time, so again, you're not meant to put your lives on hold, you guys. Um, but this person, they, I think they're also recognizing they didn't give you what you needed. They may not have been supportive of you in the past. Cause like I said, they were very focused on that 10 of pentacles, but with religious, I feel like also this divine plan at work, their angels and their guides, um, are, are showing them that they need to somehow either offer an apology or come back, um, or, or they're just being guided back towards you is what I'm getting, or to recognize that they have this deep love for you, okay? And we see educated. So whether this is, you know, in earth school, you know, the school of hard knocks, or maybe they've been, they've accomplished what they needed to as far as getting a degree, because I, I just get that energy. Your person had like, you know, your person had some sort of goal that they were very, they had a very singular focus with this religious energy, I always get, I always feel like dogma there, you know, so they were very, very focused on something and they may have let you get away because of that or walk away because of that or pushed you away, right? Depending on your situations. So let's see what Cancer's person would like to say to them. I also feel spiritual places, you and this person, you might be meeting in the dream space or when you meditate. What would Cancer's person like to say to them? It was my fault, but I blamed you. Yeah, some of you guys, your connection ended because they kind of like picked a fight about something like petty or stupid, or, or maybe even you felt like you were being a, a bit gaslighted there. Like, um, you know, like they, I don't know, like they were projecting or they blamed you for something. And it was just, it feels like it was just sort of something stupid. And they're seeing that. 
I don't know why this happened. So they're looking back and wondering how they ever sort of let you go or how so much time has passed. I want you so badly. I can't reach out. Yeah, and that's that full energy because still the ego isn't allowing them to say what they have to say because your person's really afraid of looking foolish. Um, they, again, they do have to work through a lot of strong ego energy. I do want to start over and I want you back. So yeah, but they do, they still have to work through that fear of appearing stupid or, you know, backsliding or just offering you an apology and I can't get enough of you. So for some of you guys, this person, um, I'm getting like, if you have social media, if you have like a, a YouTube channel or a platform, this person listens or watches you a lot. Okay, like they definitely, they're definitely keeping tabs on you on social media. All right. Um, they also, I'm getting their rereading messages, looking at pictures. I think also they're probably trying to figure out what your deal is, like who you're with. All right. What else do we need to know about Cancer's person or this situation or their love lives, please? What other messages do my Cancers need to hear? Twin flame. Some of you guys, this is a twin flame connection. For others of you guys, um, you know, I don't want you to get too hung up on labels, but this is somebody who you feel is your other half, um, who has what you need and you have what they need, that type of energy. You complement each other very well. So I do think that your person, I did get this energy of them sabotaging this connection, uh, maybe picking like some petty fight and then like blocking you or walking away or something like that. But I do see that they do want to work on things. They've had some sort of transformation, some sort of awakening, and that's what's leading to this new outlook. Um, they're recognizing the importance of this connection or their true feelings for you. All right, and some of you guys, you're going to get exactly what you need in order to move on from this connection. Some of you, you may have moved on from this person. All right, so again, it doesn't mean just because they're feeling this way, Cancer, that that's, you know, you, op you, you invite them back in with open arms. For some of you, this is going to give you healing and closure, you know, this energy of forgiveness, because this is something that has deeply hurt you. And some of you, you may be seeing them differently, whereas you maybe thought, you know, they were, you know, the bee's knees before, but now with the full card, you're seeing them as a bit foolish. So trust your intuition here. It's not all about, you know, we're, we're exploring what they may be going through and how they might be feeling. Um, but you have to hold yourself in high regard, Cancer. And for some of you, it's going to be beautiful healing news to know how this person truly feels. But again, you have to honor your worth and your value. Um, but some of you guys, yeah, this person, the boat energy tells me, and it's a sailboat. So they may not be, it may not be that you're getting this info or this message or this offer tomorrow or this month, but it may be like something that's coming in, in a bit, in a while. Wow. But we do get that there is something coming in and I can't get away from that because we have the Knight of Cups. You know, we have the Queen of Cups in their action position. So this person's waiting for the right time, but they are going to, they are going to reach out. They're going to let you know how they're feeling. And I think some of you guys, it's going to come as a pretty big shock. This person has, is somebody who's been hiding their feelings. And again, there's that energy of gaslighting. And I'm, I'm not recommending that anybody go back to somebody who was abusive or was gaslighting you. But I do feel that last, like they made something seem like it was your fault or they picked a fight. And you probably always knew, like, is that really why we broke up? Like, that's so, that's so stupid or that's not, you know, I don't know. Like, you know, this person was hiding their feelings. Um, and I feel like they're ready to sort of take that mask off or they will be. Okay. So let's take a look at the compassionate soul oracles and see what messages come through for you. Clear messages and guidance, please, for my cancers regarding this connection. Clear messages and guidance, please, for my cancers regarding this connection. Overgiving. Develop a healthy sense of reciprocity in your relationship. Yeah. So especially like I know my cancers out there. I'm a cancer. We love to give. We love to shower our person with love and we can really give a lot. We can take, you know, we can take a lot of abuse as well. Um, and I don't recommend that you do that, right? You want to make sure that there's reciprocity. And when I say take a lot of abuse, you know what I mean? Like we give somebody a lot of, we give people more chances often than they deserve. All right, so by no means, if anybody's abusive, just mm -mm, full stop. 
move in a new direction, right? Valued contributions. Appreciate the uniqueness of what each other brings to the connection. I think this person wants to balance the scales. Um, I think they also realize that you gave and you gave and you gave. They know that they hurt you. And I, I feel that this person wants to, wants to come in and make it up to you. That's just what I'm getting. Openness. Be open to hearing or sharing suggestions. What might be exactly what this situation requires. Yeah. And like I said, your person, I feel like, I keep feeling like they're an emperor. Or they are now. Um, and I think they're more open to giving and receiving love because of whatever this is, the stability that they've found or that whatever they've achieved. But remember, it's not all about them. You don't want to be somebody who's just on their time. But I, I feel this person has gone through a transition. So teaching and learning, you are meant to help each other expand and grow. Yeah, wow. Cancer, this is a beautiful reading for those of you that want reconciliation and longing. If you feel lack in your connection, what void does it fill? Yeah, so making sure that, you know, you, there may have been something missing in the past. And if you guys do decide to reconcile with this person um, or they do reach out, again, it's about making sure that you don't fall back into those old patterns because Spirit's saying reciprocity is key. So you don't want this person just to come sweeping in and, you know, hey, I've got, you know, I've got a house. I've got my business up. I'm, you know, I'm all good. Now I want, you know, the relationship. But they have to be able to offer that. So go really slow. Make sure that they are reciprocating. All right. Embrace newness. Out with the old and in with the new. Try a new approach. Find a change of scenery. So it could be a brand new cycle for you guys and this person. And for others of you, it's not going to be good enough what they're offering. It's too little, too late. And Spirit's saying if that's the case, you know, hold yourself in high regard and focus on somebody new. You know, we don't have to let the past back into our life. But forgiveness is key for you to move on. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Um, powerful stuff here. Sending you so much love and light. Take care.